Radio Rahim here with the King, Don King. You know, we're at an Al Heyman event, Don, and not since Don King. Maybe has anyone had the impact on the sport of boxing like Al Heyman has? You're obviously working with him. Let me know uh, what do you feel about his impact on the sport and how it's changed. Al Heyman is a man. His word is his bond. That's what I live with. I do not live with none of the other stuff that they go out. You can go out and get propaganda. You can stir up excitement. You know what I mean? But if you don't keep your word, you don't stand for nothing. You know what I mean? So therefore, I, I just, I love what he's doing. I love what he's doing. But you got to understand, black success is unacceptable. You know what I mean? It's because it's been 400 years of deeply ingrained into the psyche of America. You know, that people of color are inferior, whites are supremacy, but it's all being taught. It ain't nothing that really goes to walk that walk and talk that talk. And so, but when you see it, you can't deal with it. You know what I mean? Because he differentiates from everything that they've been taught, and that's what causes the problem, because the youth is not buying it. You know, young kids is not buying it, the university is not buying it, and so they're finding out that what happens, but the ones who do, you have tragedies, you know. This is you had with this kid in the church in, uh, in, in, in South Carolina or North Carolina, wherever it was. And he goes in and he say, I like the people, they treated me nice, but I had to do it in my assignment. You make human beings into weapons. You know, that's what they do in the Middle East, that's what we do here. You get them so indoctrinated and brainwashed that they be able to react to anything that you say, and if you're talking negativity and hatred, they react and become a part of the negativity and hatred. I'm proud of Al Heyman. I think he's doing a great job. So, I mean, it sounds to me like you said, when you were on top of the sport and the most impactful promoter, you had lawsuits, you had people trying to knock you off the throne, and it seems like Al Heyman now is dealing with the same thing. Do you feel like that's racism? Listen, it's what, what, what do you want us to do? You want to call it. You know, what's in the name? A, a rose band, the other name was Smell It Sweet. You got to be able to understand the system is what makes that happen. And everybody is fighting him because he's trying to do something and they don't know what it is. So therefore, they are fighting against it. You got to be able to understand that. But you can't look for uh, uh, applauds and, 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 and everybody tell you how great you are and what if they ain't going to do that. You got to demonstrate that and do it in a, man, in a manner where your word means more than money. Relationships means more than money because it's incidental if you got a word and you got a great relationship, you're going to get the money. It's incidental. You know, so, but they don't understand it. They try to dichotomize and make one thing different and this is this and this is that. But as long as Al keeps his word like he's doing, there's nothing that's going to be able to stop him and I'll be there to help him any way I can. Turning to your career as a promoter, you've been in the game for decades. Some of the most legendary fights in this sport have been promoted by Don King. Why do you still come out and put fights on and, put, and bring fighters to these events? Why not retire? What, what keeps you in this game? The people. You know, the women don't get their rights. You know what I mean? So you got to fight for the women. In fact, it's got to be a co-adventure with women getting their rights at the same time people of color getting theirs. So it's got to be a, a, a coalition uh, uh, where it be unity, solidarity, and togetherness giving women their rights, not just because being a tool in the days of slavery, the one thing that the slave and, and the white woman had in common was that they both were considered inferior, they were both considered property. You know what I mean? So that system still stands. You know what I mean? They may have put a, a, a new characterization and maybe lifted it up in disguise, but it's the same thing. All right? So you, could, you, see, you wouldn't see these hate actors continue to, in, in 2015, that you see it in 1831, in 1850, in 1860, but it's still there. The law becomes the most influential part because the law that was established then under the reign of the white supremacist is the law that stands today. And so now when you do something about trying to change it, you're breaking the law. And you can't break the law. You're not bigger than the law, young man. And so they, that game is being played. You got to go to the cause, not the effects, the system. All right, so then we work together to change that system where everybody is included. And then we all God's children, we all work together, play together, we be able to understand one another together, and we work for the benefit and the betterment of our greatest nation in the world, America, the greatest it, country in the world. At this phase in your career, is it still important to you to be on top, to be the number one promoter? Are you still looking to fill that spot? Well, you made a mistake because I ain't never left. I started at the top and I ain't never left. How many did you see that can walk into a place and have like you? Why would you be inter inter interviewing me when you see guys that's been out there that's been promoting their left? You had, you know, I, I had to bring them out to think about how they used to be. What's that guy that used to be, uh, uh, he, the one who bought Pacquiao here? You know, I had to think. 
No, Barbara Evans didn't bring Pacquiao. Barbara Evans took him from, uh, uh, what the, yeah, he had his name right on my lip. But that ain't nothing. I'm, I'm telling you what it is. They all go to sleep. You can't sleep, you know what I mean? You get nothing from a sleep but a dream. These beautiful kids, the machachos and the machachas, they are wonderful. This is what you got to work for a betterment of. You go to Mexico, you got to be able to understand those who fought for Mexico. They were, if we would call him a bad guy, Pancho Villa. But Pancho Villa was fighting for the people. We would call him a bad guy, Emilio Zapata, you know, Emiliano Zapata. But he was fighting for the people. All those who stood up and fight for the people, those are the ones that you remember lastingly. You know what I mean? So Hildago, you well, next month we'll be the 250 and 260s uh, uh, thing for Mexico uh, being free, you know, to fight and fight and get away, getting from Spain. So you got to understand what people do is how they react. But you are taught hatred, divisiveness. You know, you have been put in categories of inferiority. You know what I mean? And so I like anybody that wants to work for the betterment of mankind, and anybody who wants to work for the betterment of the women to give the rights because they're really the most important thing on earth. You know what I mean? You couldn't be if it wasn't for them. So I don't. Know how they continue to to put them down or to put them in to hold hold them back or keep them under some guys. I love you, I love you, but at the same time you enslave them. You know what I mean? No, that ain't right. So we got to be able to fight for that. And people like Al and I and the ones to fight for the right thing. We ain't worried about what they say about us. We worried about what can we do to make it better. And lastly, Don, to address this new landscape in boxing somewhat, you know, we have a network television. They're saying you know boxing free for everyone now. How does Don King, say pitch a fighter, obviously being a promoter, you got to have a stable. Why should a young fighter coming up sign with Don King as opposed to any of these other promoters on these platforms? Because Don King don't kick them to the curb when they lose. Don King brings them back. You treat them like a human being. Anybody can have an off day. I don't care who it is. Muhammad Ali had an off day. You know, George Foreman had an off day. He had an off day in the Rumble in the Jungle when Ali beat him after uh, he had been beating everybody invincible. You know what I mean? So, but what they do is they kick you to the curb when you lose. That's why they should sign with me and I get him the champion. I have, look, take the Tavoris Cloud for an instance. I had three world title fights for him consecutive losing every one of them. Who else can do that? You know what I mean? Because I treat you like a human being and have the respect and admiration to say, for the grace of God, go I, you know? And so this is what you got to be able to understand about people and to be able to deal with it. I started at the top. My first fighter was Muhammad Ali. You know what I mean? So I ain't never left. You know what I mean? So when you want to get something done and it's going to be done right, it's not braggadocio. It's just fact. Because I fight for the people. I'm a promoter of the people, by the people, and for the people. And my magic lies in my people ties. I go for you and you and you. All the beautiful kids is here. Strong to be a man that take care of their families. To be able to grow up, to take over the country. That's tomorrow's future. People like yourself. That is the future. You got to be able to deal with that. You, know, you can't put that down with condescending, you know, ambiguity and playing the game facetiously. Or what do you call it? Manipulating the language, you know what I mean? To make things happen and everything that's got color in it, somehow or another in America, they make it something that is disdain and something that is wrong and something that is bad, coupled with all the negative association. We must stop that because we have the words in our great nation called America, one land, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We hold these truths self-evident that all men and women are created equal, endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, among these which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I hear a voice in this town hall meeting. As for what course others may take, I know not. But as for me, give me liberty or give me death. <laughs> in the, Leslie, in the golden age of boxing, uh, you know, fighters were able to fight the competition that was at the top when they were at the top. The people feel like fights were being made when they should have been made. But now, fighters are making more money, but maybe not fighting the best competition. What, what, how do you compare those two areas? Mayweather made more money, but that's, a, that's an apple from my tree. I planted the tree and grew the tree because before then, they didn't think a black or a Mexican was worth two cents. You know what I mean? They wouldn't pay them nothing. That's when they were really taking advantage. But when I come in and start talking about five million dollars for a night for a fighter, you know, it was incredible and incredulous. And so we grow from there. But the new technology that's coming in, the technology down now that, is, that grows by geometric progression. And so this is what that dude is changing. So you got to be able to deal with what is real and what is practical. And then at that time, you didn't have no options to go into any other sports. 
You know what I mean? And that's the whole thing. You couldn't go in the other directions because of your color. You know what I mean? You could be blocked because of your color. You know, not what you're doing and what intellect you may or may not have, what your talent may be. You know, you, you, that never came into question. Segregation, Jim Crow, all of that stopped all of that. And so you got to be able to deal with what's the practicality of what the real life is. Attitudes, behavior, uh, every, the groups, all would do the wrong thing and make the wrong thing right and would be held up by the courts. You know what I mean? And when you see the blitz where young kids unarmed is being slaughtered, you know what I mean? That's the basis and the essence of what we're talking about when you're talking about the racism that exists, that establishes itself as a system. So you got to be able to knock that system down. The people ain't bad. I love white people. I love them like they love me. They've always been there for me. You know what I mean? Because I understand. I'm commiserate with their plight because they're being worked on too. You know, anytime you take advantage of another person, you're taking advantage of yourself because when the wheel turns and it come to you, then you can say, why did I do this? Why are they doing this to me? Why were you doing it to everybody else? You know what I mean? So you got to be able to understand what it means to be an American. You know what I mean? Be proud to be an American because they got all the right things in that country. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. That is what life is about. But we don't practice that. We talk about the self-evident truth, but we live and behave the self-evident lie. So let's make that lie come true. You know what I mean? In your legendary career, your life spanning this sport of boxing, there's been so much that you've done, some celebrated, some scorned. If there was one thing that you could be remembered for when this is finally over for you, what do you want them to remember about Don King? But Don King believes in God, he takes God and puts him before him. And that he lives for the day that all people are clothed in dignity. That means you got to respect each and every one of them. And Matthew 7, 12 tells you that. Do unto others if you would have others do unto you. That answers it all the way down. Don't do something to someone else that you don't want being done to yourself. You know what I mean? So, but they get in caught up into it. You know, you have another phrase in the Bible in... Um, Ecclesiastics, chapter 10, 17, 18, 19, 20. He said, you drink wine to be merry. You have a festival to have fun. But money is the answer to all things. You got to understand what it is. Everybody be trying to get the money. If you're in Israel, you're getting the guilt. You know what I mean? If you're in Mexico, it's the Nero. The Nero. You know what I mean? If here, you got to go everywhere. They're looking for money for self-interest. Uh, but you can make money by the leisure fair uh, and letting the market take care of it. But be with the people. If you're with the people, you're going to get money anyway because people going to come to you. And if you got the power of the people, that is why the Constitution starts out. We, the people. We're supposed to be governed by the consent of the governed. But we are governed by the consent of the people that we send to Washington to solve the problem they become a part of the problem we send them there to solve. So that leaves us standing in the middle of the desert with no manna in water coming all down on our head. So let us not rain down and say this one is wrong and that one is wrong. Let us change our system so it'll be the betterment of word inclusive will be the part and parcel to everything that's going on to make our country better. And at the same time, have respect for other countries and be able to understand their culture, their background, what they came from, how they got to live, so that you can find out, take a little live, give and take, until you get the thing where it really works, where it's just wonderful. There's nothing better than being photobombed by Nacho Berestein during this interview. That lets you know what kind of legend I'm sitting next to. <laughs> Nacho came in and wanted to get a picture with the legendary Don King. I appreciate the time, the candor, Radio Rahim with the King, Don King. There's nothing like being on Radio Rahim. I'm excited. Excitamenti, excitamenti, excitamenti. <laughs> Thank you, sir.